Welcome to Family Math Number 104. Family Math Number 104. This is a, another really cool problem from uh, Fawn Wynn's Visual Pattern site. So I thought we would um, work through this this morning with our new Snap Cubes. Okay. Okay. So this is the first step in the pattern. This is the second step in the pattern. This is the third step in the pattern. Can you tell me, uh, you can you tell me how many Snap Cubes are in that piece? One, two, three, four, seven. Is that what you see? Let's see. I do see okay, great. How many snap cubes are in, are in the green structure? Well, there's three, five, seven, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, what do you what do you count? This is a six. That's twelve, fifteen. I see fifteen. Okay, awesome. What about in this one? Well, let's see. Four, three, seven, ten. 13, 14, 17, 20, 23, I see 27. Yeah, I see 27. Do you see 27 as well? Okay, so that's great. Great counting, guys. Proud of you. Low five. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build the next one, but we're not going to do that with the camera on because it takes a while to build these things with the snap cubes because they got to fit together. Yeah. Okay, so you ready to build the next one? Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, so here we're back and we, and we built this one. Uh, we built the, the fourth step in the in the sequence and how many blocks did it have? It had 43 blocks. Okay so we have a very interesting pattern. The first one had seven, yep. the second one had 15, that's just the green one. The third one, the red one, had 27 and the fourth one, the purple one, had 43 and on on the visual pattern side it tells us that the 43rd one has 3787. Hmm. So we're gonna see if we can find the <coughs> find the pattern. So. Did you have any ideas for how uh, how you counted them? Well, how did you count? How did like how did you count? Let's do this one. How did you count up to twenty seven on this one? What did you do? Well, I counted this, which is four. Okay. And then so you're gonna say twenty seven equals four plus four plus three times three, which is nine. Three times three. Okay. And then this is gonna have the same amount except for one block. Okay, do you so, want to do a... So, it's going to have this 4 and this 3 times 3. Plus 4 times 3 times 4 plus 3 times 3. Yeah, 4 plus 3 times 3, then plus 1. Okay, awesome. So that's how I oh, got it. Oh, shoot. That might not be on camera. Okay, but that's okay. You explained it. I'm going to move it down just a little bit. Okay, hopefully that's on camera now. So you said 27 is 4? Yep. 3 times 3, and then the same over here, 4, 3 times 3, and then we have one block left over. How did you count it? Well, I just imagined that they were they were rectangles. So I oh. did this 4 by 3 rectangle, which is 12. Okay. Then there's another one here. And then these, these three extras. Okay, awesome. Awesome, that's great. Now, so let's see how we could do it with n rectangles. Remember, in this case, n was 3. Okay, so I'm going to erase down here and write one, two, three, four. So if, if, if we did n, how big would your rectangles be? When n was three, they were four by three. When n was two, how big were they? They were two by three. Okay, when n is four, how big are they? Four by five. So, so it's, it's, n, it's two times n times n plus one. Okay, so we have n plus one times n plus n plus one times n. Plus the, plus the three. Plus the three, okay. That's awesome. Now we'll check in a second if 43 gets to 3787. That'll help us give, get a hint if the pattern's right. Now, your, your pattern for mm -hmm. n, okay? When n was three, we did four plus three times three. Yeah. Four plus three times three plus one. So for n, what, when, when n was three, we had four in the beginning. When n was two, how many did we have in the beginning? We had three. When n was four, how many did we have in the beginning? Five. So for, for a general n, how many, how, are we gonna, how many are we gonna have in the beginning? It's gonna have n plus one. Very good, n plus one, and then what? And then n, and then n, and then it's n, it's n times n. Times n plus n plus one plus n times n. And then there's... The one left over, right? Yeah. Plus one. 
Okay, awesome. Good pattern finding, guys. Now let's just check and see if 43 works for both of your patterns. Okay. okay. Ooh, but to do that, we have to know some pretty big numbers. So, uh, you... fortunately, I have my calculator here. Okay. So, 44 times... We have to do 43 times 43 f first. For the for the first pattern there, do you know, does anybody know what forty three times forty three is? It's no. gonna be forty three squared. Forty three squared. Okay, so that's one thousand eight hundred and forty nine. Okay, now we have to do that twice, right? So times two. Then we have to add forty four and forty four. What's forty four plus forty four? It's eighty eight. And then plus one is eighty nine. So we have to do plus eighty nine. And we get 37.87. Yeah. Okay, cool. so that's, the, that's this pattern up here. Hmm. Now your pattern was n plus 1 times n, n plus 1 times n plus 3, right? Yes. Okay. So you want to do 2 times 44 times 43? Is that right? Yes. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Touched the wrong part. Okay, so 2 times 44 times 43 equals 37.84. And then what do we have to do? We have to add this little three. Plus three is? 377. Yeah. Hey. Cool. Great, great work with that pattern, guys. And you did it two different ways. That's cool. That's really great. That's fun. These snap cubes really make these patterns fun too, don't yeah. they? Yeah. All right, good job, guys. High five.